Welcome to lesson two, in which we will be dealing with conjugating verbs in the present tense. So today we will review how to conjugate regular verbs, which we did last time, and we'll also look at verbs that end with the E or epsilon. So taking a look here at our table, we have three verb stems on the left. Li, to loose, leg, to say, e li, to love. So these stems can be matched up with the endings which we have on the right. So again, we have the singular ones, uh, which are in white here, O, which is I, S, U, E, he, she, and it. This is followed by the greenish plural endings, where we have omen, which is we, ete, you, usen, they. And again, as a reminder, there's a movable v, or nu, as it's called in Greek, uh, which is on the, the last item, which may or may not be present depending on the following word. So to make a short sentence here with just a subject and verb, we can join the stem with the ending. So here, for example, we have leo, which is I loose, leomen, which is we loose, and we have legis, you say, and then legusan, they say. Now this is all review from last time, but here when we move to the third verb we have on the left, philo, the stem is a little different because here it ends with a vowel. And as a result, when we bring it together with the endings, there will be contractions between the different vowels. So here we show the contraction rules. So if the E on the end meets another E or epsilon, then it becomes EI, E. Or if that's E or epsilon comes in contact with an O, we end up with an OU, which sounds like OO. And in the last case, that epsilon, if it comes in contact with a long vowel sound, uh, like an OO sound, or uh, what's called a diphthong, a, a mixture of vowels, then there's no change. So let's, let's put this into practice and see the results. So if we merge them all and we see what happens. So if you take a look, the epsilon has merged with the O forming I love and the E drops out. Uh, again, we have the same case uh, for is and E uh, you love and he, she, it loves. Again, the E just drops out since we have that double vowel. However, in the plural, we have, we have changes. We have modifications. So in this case, E modifies the O and becomes U for philomen, so we love. And again, in the case of E mixing with another E, we have philete, so you plural love. Well, again, the usun uh, ending does not change. And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.